There are a lot of people out there in social media land who make it their business to try and understand every single nuance and subtlety of every social media platform's algorithms with a view to saying, this works, that doesn't work, this other thing might work, we don't know what's happening here, and basically trying to reverse engineer where places are putting their priorities. Is that really a good use of time, or can we have a different approach? My name is Chris Hargraves. This is the Digital Marketing Mastery for Lawyers series. You can find all the other episodes and many other things at digitalmarketingforlawyers.com. But for today, we are going to be talking about algorithms and whether you need to care. On the one hand, I appreciate where a desire to work through the algorithm shifts comes from, which is you want to see the best performance possible on a social media platform. That, I think, is fundamentally a good starting point that you want to succeed. And in order to succeed, it might be that some things are going to work better than others simply because a particular platform is putting a primacy on it. A classic example here is when Facebook rolled out its native video platform and subsequently when it rolled out its live video platform, it fairly transparently gave those things a greater boost in the organic reach than it did other things. And this, obviously, is because it wants people to use its native platform rather than share things from YouTube, in the case of video. And whatever they end up doing with video in the future, whether it's ads, I see that starting to come in, or something else entirely, that was something people could capitalize on if they knew it was happening. Beyond that, the question is, how much do you need to try and game the algorithm as your focus versus just trying to create stuff that people like? And it is useful. Why do I make that distinction? I make that distinction because of the underlying purpose of the algorithm. Outside the transparent attempts to have people use native content on platforms, the principal purpose behind an algorithm on social media is to show people what they want to see. I touched on this in the previous episode. And if that is the principal purpose, and the algorithms changing over time are generally just to try, as best as the extremely clever people coding these algorithms can figure out, if the purpose of that is to try and show the desired content to relevant people, then your job is in fact not to game the algorithm, but to produce the desired content that your audience might like. I'll give you a very good example, which is LinkedIn. Uh, If you've been following me at all, you probably know that I use LinkedIn a lot, and I like posting natively on it from time to time. That is sort of short posts, a few sentences, maybe a few paragraphs, maybe just a one line or whatever it might be, as a very simple form of putting native content on LinkedIn. I don't put these things anywhere else. I don't share links to other things. Why do I do that? I do that because, firstly, I have a decent number of connections on LinkedIn that I want to maintain a relationship with. But secondly, because I respect their time. And so a lot of people don't have the time or the inclination to click on a whole bunch of really long 2,000, 3,000 word articles from a social media platform. They might be spending five minutes on it in their coffee break. They might be spending 10 minutes just sort of scrolling through their newsfeed as they commute on the bus. They're not going to spend that time unless it's a particularly fantastic article or a particularly relevant topic. They're not usually going to want to spend that time reading a single article. They want to get through as much as they can. And so as a respecter of time, I post things in a way that people can consume and easily engage with. I ask questions. I make controversial statements. Whatever it might be, my job is to try and provide value or have a conversation. That is my particular strategy. And the reason I've done it is because I think that's more valuable to people or to my relationship with people. I could, of course, and do share longer blog posts. They get less attention. They do not get as much engagement, certainly on the native platforms as my other posts. And so 
I think there's a good reason for that. And the reason for that is not that the algorithm is out to get me, as I touched on previously. The reason for that is that those posts, people don't like them as much. Or if they do like them, they don't have time for them. And then if they don't have time for them, they're not going to read them. And if they're not going to read them, they're not going to engage with them. That's how it works. So rather than trying to game the algorithm, try and just create valuable stuff for people. That's going to be your best strategy over the long term because you can chase your tail a lot by trying to keep up with algorithm changes and trying to get all the latest what time to post, how long is the best post, what is the best kind of content to share. Don't ignore all of that, but diminish all that in importance and focus on the people you're trying to provide value to. That is the best long-term strategy and it doesn't have you dancing around like your shoes are on fire constantly trying to keep up with things. Hit all the good buttons. I will see you next time.